because of the ends of proving mysterious powers Out here where the seas meet the sky, surrounded by nothing but water. Oh, yes, it's true. My poor delight. The sun's on your skin, and the wind in your hair, and the waves as they ebb and they flow. We're miles from the shore, and guess what? I don't care. As for me, I'm about to heave up to mine. I'll tell you a tale of the king of the sea and his gates and the star and the I'm telling you, lad, when King Triton gets mad, how the waves will butt back to and fro. Hold on, good luck, it's time you go. What is that? Do you hear something? My lord, please, enough sympathetic. You're a prince, sire, you're not a common sailor. These men are anything but common, Grimsby. They're free, truly free. I'd rather be a simple sailor than a prince any day. This is where I belong Everything seems more real here Strange how home I feel here in the tide's swift flow And when the pull is strong I almost think I hear the sea Wild and free Calling me from fathoms below There it is again! Back to shore, your majesty. Indeed, you should. Not while I'm captain. Now follow that voice to the ends of the earth if we have to. Aye, oh, aye, captain. There's mermaids out there in the bottom. This blue and its haze is already home. Watch out for them, lad, or you'll go to your room. Mysterious fathom below. Benevolent 
merfolk, creatures of the deep. Today marks a very special occasion, for on this day, many years ago, I inherited my father's kingdom and banished the sea witch Ursula forever! Hail, to honor our victory, may I introduce our master of ceremonies, Prince Epic, the court composer, Sebastian. Morning to y'all. <laughs> so what do we have in store? I've got a special song just for the occasion. Mm. I wrote this number for my star pupil. <laughs> and who might that be? Ariel. Such a voice. Mm. Notes as clear as ice. Pitch as pure as water. Why, I haven't heard such magnificent sound since. Since Her Royal Highness. May she rest in peace. You're going to be a proud papa. You'll see. If only she'd show up for rehearsals once in a while. Let the merriment begin. I'll be on the daughters of Triton. Great father who loves us and named us well. Aquata, the artist of team, and Ariel. So do I. <laughs> 
sí. Wish I could be. to take a princess sailing? It's a joke. Their Kremlins get caught in the rigging, and most of them can't even swim. Swim, sire? Is that a prerequisite? Well, sure, if we go sailing. Where am I gonna find her, Grimsby? A girl who's as carefree and alive as the ocean itself. Where? Quack! Quack! Well, what do you know? Scott will be quiet. They'll hear you. Oh, I gotcha, I gotcha. We're being intrepidatious. Too much to hope for, isn't it? Somewhere out there, a girl who's a match for a guy like me? Perhaps you're not looking hard enough. I've never seen a human this close before. Me neither! I thought you were an expert. On their stuff, sure! But it gets the sight of them horrible! That square jaw, those broad shoulders, and two eyeballs of the same color! No variety. I don't know. I think he's really handsome. You do? Trust me, Grimsby. When I find the girl of my dreams, it'll hit me like lightning. <laughs> Tumble, dear boy. That voice. I 
can't get it out of my head. It's simply the sound of the sea, that's all. No, I'll prove it to you. I'll find her and I'll thank her for saving my life. You best come with me, a night of sleep, and you'll be good as new. Please, you have to believe me. You've heard too many tall tales, dear boy. No, she was real. Yes, of course she was. As real as a siren, as real as a mermaid on the rocks. <laughs>
is head over tails in love. In love? Ariel? Come on, Flounder, who's the lucky merman? Gee, I don't know. I didn't even know it was love until the second course. But you know her better than anybody. You follow her everywhere. everywhere. Not anymore. Not since she started chasing after humans. <laughs> humans? I hope and pray you didn't just say... <laughs> <laughs> Humans. Uh oh. And this new love of hers. <laughs> don't tell me. Then don't ask me. He's one of them. A real human, like two-legged kind. Yeah, he's gonna be ripped. The eating outsider species. Thanks, Flounder. You're a regular angel. What are you doing? What are you doing? Okay. Water all around me, child, and you still gotta play with fire. human from drowning. I had to rescue the prince. You had to. Without me, he would have perished. He's a human. You're a mermaid. I can't hate him just because he's different. Perhaps you can, but it's just not in me. 
different. They catch us with their hooks. They spear us with their blades. They're not all like that. Do you remember what they did to your mother? We don't know that for certain. Can there be any doubt? She goes off one morning for an innocent swim, never to return. We will not have you building a shrine to them, worshiping their rubbish, the debris that sullies our waters, Daddy, no. the totems of their decadence. Don't please. Never again, Ariel. Never again. That's not true, now don't we? Why did he banish you? The ocean wasn't big enough for the both of us. And now he's driven you away too. He doesn't understand me. Oh, but I do, Dumpling. We're so very alike, you and I. Gals with ambition. Yeah. Now, tell dear old auntie everything. I'm in love with someone, a human. Mm, this prince fellow, he's quite a catch. Well, the answer is simple. You've got to become a human yourself. Can you help me? Help you? Oh, my dear sweet child, it's what I live for. To help poor, unfortunate merfolk like yourself. Souls with no one else to turn to. I will admit that in the past I've been a nasty. They weren't kidding when they called me well a witch. But you'll find that nowadays I've mended all my ways, repented, seen the light, and made a switch, true? Yes. And I fortunately know a little magic. It's a talent that I always have possessed. And now lately, please don't laugh, I use it on behalf of the miserable, lonely, and depressed, pathetic. Sure, darling. Oh, look! Small print! Your soul is 
mine forever and you're doomed to spend eternity in my watery hell so clear. <laughs> Lawyers, don't you just love them? Now there is one more thing. My fee. But I don't have any. Oh, I'm not asking for much. Only your voice. My voice? <coughs> but if I give away my voice, how can You'll I? You'll have your looks, your pretty face, and don't underestimate the power of body language. The men up there don't like a lot of blabber. They think a girl who gossips is a bore. Yes, on land they much prefer for ladies not to say a word. And after all, if you're winners, I don't prattle for it. Come on! They're not all that impressed with conversation. True gentlemen avoid it when they can. But they don't swim and fall on a lady who's a draw. It's she who holds her tongue who gets her man. Come on, You've got to paint a toll. Take a gulp and take a breath and go ahead and sign the scroll. Lots of jets and now I've got a rose. The boss is on a roll. You poor, unfortunate
prince fall in love with her? And to prove it, he's got to kiss her. The prince? <gasps> if you want to score the prince, you've got to think of a more graceful way of perambulating. Oh, she'll do no such thing. Sure she will. All right, upsie daisy. Come on now. You're giving up so soon? That ain't like you. You gotta have a little gumption, a little can-do kind of altitude. Take it from me, a go who knows. Well, look at me, you see this face. In terms of beauty, I'm a basket case. And as for style and Saba farewell, yes, there ain't a whole lot there. Although perhaps it makes no sense. I struck my stomach confidence. And though I lack an awful lot, there is one thing I got. Please, you must tell me, what's your name? Excuse me? You don't speak English? Sore throat, eh? I'm sorry. You don't speak at all, do you? For a moment, I mistook you for someone else. What is it? You're hurt? No, no, you need help? Oh, a bit dizzy, aren't we? Don't worry, I know just the remedy. A warm bath and a hot meal. Come on, you'll be fine. The palace isn't too far. <laughs> Bravo, Ariel! That's what I call reeling them in. <laughs> oh, this is gonna get me in real hot water. Can you believe that guy? What a crab! <laughs> Thank you. 
que Dieu ne te tue. La menu, vous êtes soi. Escargot. Lorsqu'un bisque. Tout le tartare. Oh, et macro. Maintenant. Loveliness. Usually it's just me and Grim. He has to look across the table at my ugly mug. And the bath certainly worked its wonders. She's groomed for a groom, you might say. <laughs> Easy, old boy. Easy. My, that's unusual. Thank you. She certainly knows how to make you smile. Shall we? And now is the truly exquisite. The creme de la creme de la creme. Ho, ho, ho! You may ask, what that is it? It's a tizzy surprise, a delectable treat, but I'm sure you'll just love. Allez, bon appetit! Two of us. What a couple of misfits. You're a quiet girl in a noisy world. I'm a prince who'd rather be a simple sailor. We're both fish out of water, you and me. What? Did I say something wrong? 
I'm sorry. Who needs words anyway? A smile says just as much sometimes. Nimble on your feet, aren't you? Dancing beats small talk any day. Why, it's the way your feet smile. Or laugh. It lets you say so many things. Dancing is a language that is felt instead of heard. You can whisper, sing, or shout without so much as a word. Try it. Go on. Like so. Just let your emotions tell your body what to do. See how much a single gesture can reveal. And every little step, every single step, is one step closer to saying what you feel. Once the music hits you, inhibitions fall away. And you find that you're expressing things your voice dares say. Don't be afraid. Let go. Soon as you surrender, what's inside will sweep on through. As the boundaries between us disappear. And every little step, every single step, is one step closer to talking loud and clear. A dance is like a conversation. You speak as one, give and take, back and forth, round and round.
it's true. I have no backbone. All right, come in. We gotta make a plan to get that boy to kiss you before it's too late. First, you gotta bat your eyes. Like this. Oh. And then you've got to pucker your lips. No one's ever dared to join me out here. Beautiful, isn't it? Nothing is happening! They spent all morning on horseback, and then a picnic, now this. And not so much as a peck on the cheek! So, how about this weather? Oh, we gotta do something and fast! But what? We've got to create the right kind of mood. Ooh, something romantical. <laughs> like candlelight and shampoo. <laughs> Nonsense! It don't take all that. Everything we need, we've got right here. Percussion. Strings, winds, and moonlight. There you see her sitting there across the way. La -la -la. She don't got a lot to say, but there's something about her. About her. And you don't know why, but you're dying to try. You want to kiss the girl.
freak storm. It's almost midnight. It's my birthday tomorrow, and Grimsby's holding a contest. I have to pick a wife before sunset or else. Surprise you 
has done it all to herself, trading her voice away. And for what? Human heartbreak. Give her back to me. Not on your life. It so happens that your daughter signed a contract. No. It drew a little heart above the eye. Is it binding? Goodness, yes! Unbreakable, unless... Unless? There is a little something we could try. Go on. Yes. Perhaps we could arrange a sort of trade-off. Maybe swap your daughter's soul for, say, your own. What? Sign the scroll and set her free. Or else she comes with me to suffer through eternity alone. And well, I'm waiting. It's not my soul you're after. It's my power. And which would you rather be? King of the sea or a father to his little girl? Ariel! to his world now. Thank you so much, Daddy. Thank you. 